Okay, my name is Julian Chenudet and the company is Bordigo. Bordigo is a governance platform. Uh, it's uh, aimed for uh, corporate secretaries, board members and executive committees. Uh, it manages the governance process, uh, pre-meeting, meeting, post-meeting. Post it's easy to use. Um, it's a tool, it's both uh, basically a productivity tool and a litigation insurance. If you look at the process of uh, the governance, you've got pre-meeting, meeting, post-meeting. Pre-meeting, we have document request, scheduling pool. Meeting, we are integrated with uh, the key uh, video conference tools like uh, Teams or uh, Google Meet or Zoom. And post-meeting, we have the automated minutes, the circulation. First, I have to say that everything that happens in Bordigo stays in Bordigo. Uh, we keep track of everything for five years, documents, workflows, um, board members, corporate secretaries or executive committees can fetch their documents thanks to our um, uh, search tool. Uh, they can export uh, their dashboard to Excel and share that with, uh, for instance, auditors or regulators. We do use the same cryptography to protect identities. Um, it's an as asymmetric cryptography, but we don't use the blockchain to process the workflows because it would have been too expensive and too slow. That being said, we use a decentralized cloud called IPFS to store our certificate revocation list. Certificate revocation list um, is something we are required to post uh, because we are compliant to the EADAS regulation. Um, all the identities are protected. Every time someone is onboarded on Bordigo, we create a certificate. This certificate is uh, cryptographically linked to uh, the identity of the user. Uh, that being said, a certificate can be compromised. So EADAS tells us if a certificate is compromised, you have to tell the world. So that's the reason why we post a certificate revocation list. According to market studies, the market uh, of uh, governance platform in uh, 2021 was around 3 billion. Uh, half of it in the US and growing at 20% per year. Uh, there are two, um, two trends or two drivers uh, for that growth. First, there, is, uh, there are always more regulations. So the need uh, for a tool to help uh, to cope with those regulations in an efficient way is also growing. And the second factor is uh, there are very few companies today with a tool to help them. So there is a bright future for, uh, for Bodigo and uh, tool like that.